Plus Pack for SketchUp comes with a solid section hatching tool. And this means that you can assign different colors or hatching styles to all of your different materials and build ups. And I've already done this for a few of the different scenes in this model. And you can see that if I orbit off, uh, it is solid, which makes my model read a hell of a lot nicer and cleaner. Uh, but it also means therefore that when I go to my 2D drawings that it's going to be faster because my section hatchings are already filled with the hatching symbols and colors that I want. That being said, it can be really powerful to use the layout tools to add kind of custom hatching uh, in conjunction with your prospect for SketchUp hatching tool. For example, this cabinetry, I've just drawn a shape and associated a hatching um, to pick up the cabinetry there. And you can use it for a lot of different reasons in a lot of different ways, including even with for your walls. So, for example, I could go into this plan here and instead of using the prospect for uh, SketchUp hatching tool, I have used the layout uh, hatching. And the way that I've done that is I've gone into my pencil tool or my rectangle tool or any other shape. And then under the shape style, you have the ability to give a feel. I recommend white in most instances and the pattern stroke, which is a line type and thickness. Now in the pattern, if you click on it, you can actually activate it and you can go and search for the kind of material or symbol that you want for your hatching. Uh, and you can also give it a different scale, etc. This means that when you draw, for example, it's going to pick up all of those parameters that you've set. Now, if you've got multiple ones, you can simply use this little uh, dropper and you can grab another one. So whenever you draw another shape, it's going to pick up all of those parameters. All right. Now, there are reasons why you might want to use it in, uh, in conjunction with uh, Plusbeck for SketchUp hatching. Uh, so for example, depending on your construction type, you might have unwanted lines and, and complex joins, etc. And you want to simplify it in, in the 2D drawing and you don't want to spend the time to do it in the model because it can be a lot faster. Well, that means now, for example, I'm going to grab my, uh, my SketchUp reference and I'm going to go into styles and I recommend that you turn it to 0 0.1. It makes it a lot easier to trace. Now you can obviously go in, for example, into your line tool and you can zoom in. And just make sure you keep an eye out for those little green points. The green points mean that you're going to pick up the exact intersection of your wall and therefore you're going to be drawing accurately. And so you go around and you're going to be putting in these custom shapes. Now if you are using the Plusbeck Kickstarter pack, you'll see that in the layers, uh, we already have a hatch uh, layer. And so I, I highly recommend that you first click on the hatch layer with the pencil tool and so therefore, whatever you draw will automatically be on that hatch layer. However, you can always change any of these custom symbols retrospectively by simply right clicking them, moving to layer and change the layer. So you can do it retrospectively if you forget. The last tip and trick that I'm going to say is if you are then going to dimension, make sure that you uh, turn off the visibility of your hatching because you want your dimensions to be picking up the points in your model, not picking up your hatching which is overlaid on top of your model. Once you're finished and you're happy with everything, I then recommend you go back into uh, your model under, underneath the SketchUp model styles and then re-attribute the desired overall line weight.